I'd like to call to order the Hatfield Township Board of Commissioners regular meeting for December 12, 2018. Uh, roll call. President Zipfo. Here. Vice President Hughes. Here. Commissioner Andrus. Here. Commissioner Rogers. Here. Commissioner Thomas. Here. Uh, before we, be we begin, I would like uh, everyone, if you could, to uh, stand with us as we have a moment of silence for two folks, two uh, Hatfield residents. First is Bill Forrest, who uh, recently passed, who's a former commissioner. And second is Frank Vandergrift, the former husband of Commissioner Gene Vandergrift. So please join us in standing for a moment of silence. All right, we are honored tonight to have members of not just the Hatfield, but also the Calmer Fire Company tonight. And so if you would, uh, you don't have to come forward unless you really want to, but if you'd lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance tonight, that would be great. Don't worry, all you have to do is start and we'll all join you right after that. Thank you for coming out tonight. We really, we, it means a lot to us and we appreciate it. All right, is there a motion for approval of tonight's agenda? So moved. Move. Motion by Commissioner Andrews, second by Commissioner Thomas. All in favor of approving the agenda that's before you say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. Citizens comments, are there any citizens comments on agenda items, items that are on our agenda? All right, I don't see anyone going up to the podium, so we're gonna move on to our consent items. Is there a motion to move the consent items into the record that it's uh, on your agenda? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Thomas, second by Commissioner Rogers. Uh, those consent items are the police report for the month of November, the HTMA meeting minutes of October 9, the Calmer Fire Company monthly report for, the, for November, the treasurer's report for December, and the bills payable, paid bills in the amount of $79,451 and unpaid bills in the amount of $472,947.81. With that, I'll call the question. All in favor of moving those into the record, say aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? Hearing none, those are moved into the record. We're gonna jump right into committee reports, and then we have a number of action items. Uh, our first committee report is Planning and Zoning Committee, Commissioner Rogers. We have nothing tonight. Right, moving right along is Public Works Committee, Vice President Hughes. I have two things that'll be on the agenda tonight. Uh, First is a cost share agreement between Hatfield Township and Montgomery Township. Uh, there'll be some stormwater upgrades on Line Street before the roads we paved. Uh, based on location, Montgomery Township will be contributing 43% with a max of 80,000, and staff and committee believes that's fair. Secondly, there's a lease purchase agreement on the agenda for a new street sweeper. It was budgeted for 19 with a major upgrade for cleaning streets in the township. Also helps the township meet the MS4 requirements for DEP. So. All right. Um, Parks and Recreation Committee, Commissioner Thomas. Thank you, President Zipfel. Okay, so Santa's visit, um, Hatfield Township <coughs> Parks and Rec is partnering with Hatfield Township Police Benevolent Association to bring a little bit of the North Pole to Hatfield. So you can visit Santa's workshop and participate in Santa's Little Helpers activities, decorate holiday cards to keep or donate, make a holiday ornament, decorate your own tree, and play great games. Santa arrives at 11 a.m. on a fire truck. Please be sure to bring your letters to Santa and wear your best smile for a photo opportunity. That takes place Saturday, December 15th, that's a Saturday, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and it'll be here in the administration building. We've got a bus trip coming up in February, so if you have a little bit of cabin fever, uh, we are partnering with Upper Gwinnett Township, and the upcoming bus trip is uh, Mean Girls on Broadway. That's Saturday, February 9th in New York City. It's $150 per person. It includes bus, transportation, and a show ticket. And there's also Aladdin on Broadway, also on Saturday, February 9th in New York City. And that is also $150 per person, including bus, transportation, and ticket. It's a 
8 a.m. departure from the Upper Gwinnett Township Building. Uh, you can register online at HatfieldRec.com. And I have participated in some of those bus trips, so they are a lot of fun. Indoor pickleball. We're partnering again with XL Sports to offer indoor pickleball. The next session runs January 1st, 2019 until March 29th, 2019. It's Mondays and Fridays, 9.30 a.m. to 12, Wednesdays, 12.30 to 3. And again, it's at XL Sports. It's $25 per resident and $40 for non-resident. You can register at HatfieldRec.com. And be sure to stop by the township building to pick up your pickleball cards, because those cards will be checked upon entrance to the activity. We've got Couch to 5K. Are you interested in participating in one or all of our races, but aren't sure how to get started? This program is designed as a nine-week training class that includes race registration. Gear up for our first race, which is the Hatfield Five and Dime. Fi our Couch to 5K training course Tuesdays, 7.15 to 8 p.m. It starts uh, February 5th and goes runs through April 14th. Here at the Hatfield Administration Building, it's $95 for resident, $105 for non-resident, and you can register for that at HatfieldRec.com. We're also offering a Spotted Lanternfly Seminar. It's a free educational event that will provide more information regarding the spotted lantern fly. That will take place on Monday, February 25th from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. right here in the administration building. And again, you can register for that at HatfieldRec.com. Discount ski tickets. So throughout the late fall and through the winter season, we will offer discount ski tickets to area ski resorts. You can purchase these tickets at the Township Administration Building during normal business hours. The complete list of ski resorts included can be found on the Township web website at hatfield.org. And then last but not least, the Hatfield Township Giving Tree. Thank you to everyone that participated and contributed to the 2018 Hatfield Township Giving Tree. With such a great response and so much generosity, we were able to assist five local families this year. So thanks to everyone for that. And that's all I have. Great. Pickleball year round. <coughs> Make a lot of residents very happy. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, Public Safety Committee. Uh, we have two announcements. First is that the Civil Service Commission will be meeting next week to certify the latest eligibility list for new hires. The board will be in a position to make offers of employment to two new officers early in 2019. Both of these officers will be replacing a recent retiree and a soon-to-be-retired officer. These are planned, uh, anticipated hires. Also, in early 2019, the board will be approving promotions for lieutenant, sergeant, and corporal positions. So those commissioners wish uh, luck to all the applicants as they progress through the process. Uh, nothing else for public safety. Uh, Commissioner Andrus, Finance Committee. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Uh, there are several items on the agenda tonight, which are good news for the finances of Hatfield Township. Folks, and most importantly, the board will be voting next to approve a fifth straight no tax increase budget. Um, and that's a congratulations to the staff for uh, using the money prudently and um, good job of managing finances. We're going to go for the record. Plymouth Township has 23 years of no tax increases, so we're going to chase that down. 23 years. Uh -oh. Um, oh, no, do they have the mercantile tax there? Tax. Oh. <laughs> have them all there. Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> then, um, Entirely right. That's mercantile tax. <laughs> secondly, the township is opening a money market account with Univest, <laughs> which currently has a two and a quarter <clears throat> interest, rate, uh, interest rate of return. The account has no fees, no cost for transfers, no restrictions. The return will increase to 2.5% if the Federal Reserve raises interest rates as anticipated next Township plans to transfer enough funds to generate more than $45,000 annually from the account. Um, haven't seen these returns since 2008. The only bad news is that all of us in this room can't participate in that. It's only open to government and school districts. That's it. All right. That's our committee report. So we're going to move on to our action items. Uh, tonight is uh, basically the passing of our budget. So why don't I um, take a, a motion for the... Uh, one by one, or should I do them as well, se separate? If if you don't mind, no, I'll, do, I'll, I'll absolutely quick. do them separate. I'm, I'm going to represent the three-hour presentation. I know the volunteer firemen want to be here all night. Before so. I take a mo before I take a motion, you want to do that? 
Go ahead. Yeah, no, go, no, go ahead. You, go why don't you do the presentation and then I'll take the motion. All right. You weren't amused by that joke? They're, they're no. counting the minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a, a, what was a, what, 30, 30 minutes? It seemed like a minute because it was so entertaining, but I'll do it in 30 seconds. Uh, highlights of the 19 <laughs> budget. Um, so like Commissioner Andrew said, no increase. Overall expenses only 4% going into 19. Body cameras coming into Hatfield Township next year for the Hatfield PD. Like uh, President Ziffel said, uh, the, the PD will be promoting two corporals and a lieutenant and a sergeant. Reduced health care costs, several capital upgrades to the aquatic center. We're going to be doing a sidewalk walkability study, new heating and cooling for the detectives buildings and a new roof, two police vehicles, new street sweeper, cow path or villa now. And a lot of the folks in the room today did a pretty good job on the roof there. We saw, I think it was, was it ladder 17 that was chiseled into there by a few pieces of equipment. And in a year, it's going to look like this clean, safer intersection uh, for the residents of Hatfield. We're going to build Frick's Trail. Also, there's a new contribution that will go toward the volunteer firefighters budgeted at 30,000. This will be the first of its kind in Hatfield. We have a lot of details to work out. We're going to be meeting with the, the fire company leadership in early 19 to um, iron out some of the details, but that will be that is included in this budget that will be considered by the commissioners um, here during this motion. So again, no tax increase, 60% of the budget goes toward public safety and uh, all services will be maintained if not improved for 2019. All right, I know that everyone up here uh, believes that fire and police are our primary responsibilities first and foremost. And so we wanna thank all of you, not only for everything that you do, especially as a volunteer organization, uh, you're the ones who get out of bed in the middle of the night when the, uh, the bell rings. Uh, so we can't thank you enough for that. And, uh, so any, uh, you know, any effort we can alleviate that a little bit, especially when it comes to retention and recruitment, uh, we're happy to do it. So thank you for coming out tonight and supporting that initiative. It means a lot to us. Commissioner, just two pieces of information that, that I failed to mention that I would like to, in the 1970s, there were over 300,000 volunteers throughout the state for, uh, firefighters. In 2012, there was less than 50,000, so the, the trend is not uh, looking favorably. Volunteer firemen in Pennsylvania, fi firefighters, save the taxpayers of Pennsylvania $10 billion annually. So I just wanted to point that out. Thank you very much. All right. Um, following that presentation, there is a... Uh, an ordinance uh, motion on in our agenda, ordinance number 683, is our motion of approval for the 2019 Hatfield Township budget adoption. So moved. Motion by Commissioner Andrus, second by Commissioner Thomas. Uh, any further discussion, comments, questions, either from commissioners, uh, consultants, or residents? All right, hearing none, I'll call the question. All in favor of ordinance 683 say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. Next action item, uh, which is, I believe this actually sets the uh, rate. Uh, ordinance number 684, is there a motion for approval of the establishment of the 2019 taxes, no increase? So moved. Second. Motion by Commissioner Rogers, second by Commissioner Andrus. Any questions, comments, or concerns from residents, commissioners, or otherwise? Hearing none, I'll call the question. All in favor of ordinance 684 say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. Uh, all right, next is, um, Moving on from our budget to uh, a resolution with regard to uh, Line, Line Street stormwater repair. This is resolution 18-32. Is there a motion for approval of the Line Street stormwater repair cost sharing agreement with Montgomery Township? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Thomas, second by Commissioner Andrews. Aaron, I think you're gonna walk us through this one. Yeah, sure, just to reiterate what uh, Vice President Hughes had said, this is um, an opportunity to share the cost with Montgomery Township on a road that is owned by both municipalities to fix a stormwater problem that's been in existence for years. Montgomery Township has agreed to pay 43% of the cost with a cap of $80,000 just based on the location of the infrastructure and the amount of uh, repairs that will be needed and where they're located. Afterward, both towns will be paving the entire strip of Line Street. And actually, thankfully for the residents in the area too, uh, Lansdale will also be paving next year Line Street, which if you've driven down there recently, you may have lost a few tires along the way. But so that entire stretch will be repaved, the stormwater will be fixed. So it'll be a nice uh, improvement in that area. 
All right. Any questions or comments? Um, with that, I'll take the. I'll call the question. All in favor of resolution 18-32, say aye. 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 Opposed. Hearing none. That is approved. Action item number four. Is there a motion for approval of the police computer server purchase as budgeted in the amount of twelve thousand nine hundred sixty-five dollars and seventy-two cents? So moved. Second. Motion by Commissioner Rogers. Second by Commissioner Andrus. Um, folks, this was already in our budget, but best practice is that when we have a uh, purchase of any kind of significance, the uh, best accounting practices that we listed in our agenda. So, uh, unless there's any other questions or comments, that's a 2018 budget item. Correct. Uh, with that, I'll call the question. All in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing on that is approved. Resolution 18 33. Is there a motion for approval with regard to the Belmont development acceptance of dedication of public improvements and to begin the 18 month maintenance period? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Rogers. Second by Commissioner Andrus. Um, not sure who has this. Mike, we'll make Ken earn his keep tonight. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Come over there. The Belmont project, which, which I, I believe you remember, was a WB Homes project. Um, the houses were built by Ryan Homes, and the project is now done. All of the public improvements are done and have been inspected. And the, at this point, the um, project is ready to enter the 18-month maintenance period, uh, during which Mr. McAdams' office will be monitoring the improvements to make sure there's no de degra degradation in the improvements. Right. Any other questions or comments? Belmont Development. Right across Vine Street. Okay, that's right. Thank you. I would just like to note that the developers <coughs> did a fantastic job with working with the residents, existing residents and the new residents coming in. All right. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, I'll call the question. All in favor of resolution 18 33 say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. Resolution 18 34. Is there a motion for approval of the Street Sweeper Lease to Purchase Agreement uh, Univest in the amount of $260,840 as budgeted in the 2018 budget? Motion by Commissioner Andrus. Second. Second by Commissioner Rogers. Uh, again, this is a budgeted item. Am I correct, Aaron? This is a budget item for 2019 entering into this lease to purchase agreement to spread the cost over five years with Univest. Um, this is proving it now. The cost will incur in 19, but it's, it's important that we get this piece of equipment sooner rather than later because ours is not working anymore. Okay. Any questions, comments from residents, commissioners, or otherwise? All right. I'll call the question. All in favor of resolution 18 34 say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing on that is approved. Resolution 18 35. Is there a motion for approval to establish the Univest money market account? So moved. Motion, motion by Commissioner Andrews, second by Commissioner Rogers. Aaron, I think you have this one as well. Yes, yeah, so similar to what uh, Commissioner Andrews had said uh, opportunity to get a 2.25% return on a uh, money market account with no fees, no interest, uh, no cost at all to the municipality. Um, certainly not. A, uh, a a rate long time so good opportunity to uh, get earned with our using our fund balance and our reserve uh, balance that the commissioners have established within the last five years all right questions or comments hearing none I'll call the question all in fav favor of resolution 18-35 say aye. aye aye opposed hearing none that is approved our last action item for the year actually resolution 18-36 is there a motion for approval for the reimbursement the capital project loan Del Val Regional Finance Authority. So moved. Motion by, um, motion by Commissioner Rogers. Second. Second by Commissioner Andrus. Last one of the I year. Do. Last one of the year. <clears throat> also included in the 2019 budget um, is a loan through the Delaware Valley Regional Finance Authority to make several capital improvements, both on the, uh, the new detective building for roof and the heating that we talked about earlier as well as at the aquatic center. Uh, the, the facility is 12, 13 years old now and needs some significant improvements. Uh, so what this resolution simply says is that any cost incurred before, we'll talk more about the loan um, probably in January and, and formally approve it, but it is included in the budget. Any costs incurred before that is uh, formally approved at a public meeting, this allows the township the ability to reimburse itself 
for any cost because of the timing of a facility like that we had to start moving on some of the repairs so we can be up and running um, come May um, so there has been some work completed and this will give us the ability according to the IRS regulations to be <coughs> reimbursed by a loan that will then be um, incurred in 19 <clears throat> all right any questions or comments hearing none I'll call the question all in favor of resolution 18-36 say aye. aye aye opposed hearing none that is approved Township uh, staff report, solicitor's report. Anything on the last night of our public hearing? <coughs> One thing to say, all is well. Ah, that's a good way to end. And a good way to start next year. Oh, let's hope. <laughs> all right, um, and uh, a manager's report, nothing tonight? No report tonight, Mr. President. I'm uh, pretty confident that everyone here, all the commissioners and everyone else, want to thank the entire staff for uh, being able to put us in a position where we have a budget for five years in a row without a tax increase and still provide the services that we do and in fact enhance and improve those services each year so uh, Aaron to you and chief to you as well uh, and everyone on the staff thank you very much for everything you've done throughout uh, 2018 and 19 is as good as 20. thank you thank you commissioners all right citizens comments any citizens comments before we end for the year uh, Okay, we have someone who's got a citizen's comments. Before that happens, I'm just going to announce that we are going to meet, the commissioners are going to meet for an executive session to discuss personnel. Other than that, we have a citizen's comment for, uh, for this evening. Hi. Good evening, everyone. My name is Andrew Soboluski. I live at 2629 East Vine Street, Hatfield. I was here two months ago, October 10th. Just liens on my property placed by Hatfield Municipal already unhappily reporting the liens are still there and I still have a balance of over $400 excess I uh, I, I looked at the meeting from two months ago and I watched it a little while ago and I remember Miss Pianzio uh, had commented and she said Liens would be removed the next day. I, and I believed her, and I think she oh, was. That's not what I said. That. I said I would get in touch with you and look into it the next day, not that I would have the liens removed in a day. Then you need to watch it again, because I just watched it an hour ago, and that's what you said. I, I watched it too. I'll pull it up now, you can see it. What's my point? Maybe that's part of the problem. Um, my point is. That when I spoke to you two days later, you called me, <clears throat> and you told me that uh, um, in order to get the money back, I'd have to write a letter, which I found a little ironic because I didn't just pay the money; I didn't just write a check. I paid that money because of bills I received. So if the bills were wrong. Is the Hatfield Township Municipal Authority ever going to take any responsibility? If they sent wrong bills out, they should return the money. I shouldn't have to ask for it. Then, Giangio had explained that during the meeting, uh, she said there was a fee involved, which I knew, and she mentioned it was like $14, she thinks. And okay, When I spoke to her on Friday, that there was a $125 fee. So I thought that was excessive. So at that point, I decided to investigate on my own. I called the Montgomery County Prothonotary's office. I learned that it cost $31 to report a lien. It cost nothing to take it off. Yet, I have to pay $125. Don't know why. They don't charge anything. So, when I was speaking to the Prothonotary's office, they asked me which lien I was talking about. There's six. There's not one. Out of control. There's three on there for me, and there's three on there for my wife as it's open. 
So, figured, hmm, there has to be a reason behind this. $125 fee, yet the pathonotary's office doesn't charge. I think there's a scam. I truly believe that for whatever reason, these liens are placed on your property. The $125 fee to take it off, that doesn't cost the township anything. If things are sent out, like they were sent out to me when I didn't owe it, yet I have to pay $125 and it doesn't cost them anything? Who's getting 125 hours? What services am I receiving? The bottom line is the water bill's paid. It should be updated. It should be corrected, but it's not. And for some reason, I have to pay someone $125. I think what we need is to contact the Hatfield Detective Division and the Montgomery County District Attorney's <coughs> Office to find out if there's any other residents that are getting hit with these fees based on erroneous bills. So, I have six liens on my property, three in my name, three in my wife's name. It's still saying it's open. I still have a bonus an excess of over $400, which I have to write a letter for, even though it should be returned based on uh, bills that didn't exist, and I have to pay a fee to someone when the pathonotary's office doesn't charge anything to take it off. President, may uh, I? Actually, actually let me, let me uh, I wanted to give Mr. Sobieski every, I know the flowers are right in the way. I wanted to give you every opportunity to articulate your concerns. Um, I can't speak to the specifics of some of the issues you raised, except I am going to address one. The notion that someone is scamming you from this government body, I'll just leave it as wrong. And I take the fence at that because the people who work at this in this township we take great pride in these commissioners. There isn't one person that I have ever met that works for this governing body or related body in the 10 years that I've been here and the 22 years plus that I've lived here who has even remotely ever had an in, 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 indication or the type of personality that would ever do anything like that. I'm certain, I'm, I assure you that if there was anyone like that in this organization, they wouldn't be here. now. I understand that your frustration has led you to that point, but let me stop you back for a second. Let me pull you back for a second. That's simply not happening in the sense that someone is trying to cheat you or other residents. Now, are you frustrated because it sounds like there's liens on your property that need to be addressed? I agree with you. We're going to help you with that. But please, do not end 2018 and begin 2019 looking at, you, looking at your governing body and thinking that we are somehow not treating our residents well. Every meeting that we are here, every subcommittee meeting that we have, we start and we end talking about how we can improve this township. So it's concerning and troubling that you would feel that way. So I'd ask if you could take that notion and put it aside, and then let's work together to fix the problem. Can you do that for me? I would like to respond to you, and then I will. Can you, can you do that for me? I will. Okay, that's great. The reason the, I'm not inferring anyone on this board is involved. But that isn't addressed to anyone here. I think everyone here is honest and wonderful and has always done a wonderful job. We appreciate that. My argument, my concern has nothing to do with the people sitting up here. It has to do with the Hatfield Township Municipal Authority. When I said that word, I meant it over there, not here. I don't think anybody's involved with this. I don't think anybody has any knowledge of this here. So no, it was not aimed at anyone here, but I truly believe it's someone over there. 
Well, I'll take issue with that as well, but you know what the more important thing is? Let's get the issue fixed for you <coughs> so that the third time that you come back here, you say, hey, you know what, this is resolved, and thanks very much, and let's start off 2019 in a better fashion. How's that sound? Wonderful. It's just maybe it got off to a bad start when I immediately got into a confrontation about something that is recorded on a video that everyone can pull up. If you go back at what I said, everything I said was true. Again, more important to us, let's fix the problem so the next time you come in you, and, you're, and you're pleased. That's our job. Okay? Wonderful. So after the meeting, we'll, pull you, we'll have a conversation you know, over there on the other side of the dais. Kristen, yes, if you would uh, like to, if there's I, any additional I wish, comment yeah, that you Yeah, I need. wish that I knew that you were coming, Mr. Sobolewski, because <coughs> I do have a full report from the authority, from their director, as to your particular situation, the timing of payments, the lien filing. I have all that that I can certainly share with you. And I also know that the fee that you are being charged, first of all, the authority is a completely separate entity. They establish their own charges and fees, and that lien removal fee is for them to be compensated for the money that they've put out relative to filing the lien. So there's legal costs involved and there's recording costs involved. So that's where that 125 comes from, but that's their number and their fee that they've established by resolution. So if I don't know if you inquired as to what that fee is for and they told you something that's different than what you've, what you've learned or maybe you've never asked them the question, but I know that that's to compensate them for money that they laid out in advance. Don and Jerry's office told me it costs $31 to file a lien in Montgomery County. It costs nothing to remove it. Well, that's true. The filing, you pay up front. But in order for you to have your lien removed, you have to pay back the authority for the cost they've incurred to file the lien. That's where the 125 comes from. There's legal fees involved and then that $30 as well. More importantly, how about we do this? After the meeting, let's have a conversation. And it sounds like our solicitor has a full report on this. And yeah, we can, I just don't we can have it with it. me. Sure, sure, sure. And Mr. Sobieski, we can, we can provide that to you. That's, that's something that we're happy to share with you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other citizens' comments? All right, I think I announced that we're uh, the, the um, commissioners or the board is meeting uh, to discuss uh, personnel and executive session. Uh, nothing else to uh, announce other than happy holidays to everyone here. Uh, thank you for attending tonight. Thank you for a great year to our volunteers, not only those, but also the folks who come to our meetings every week. We greatly appreciate it. With, with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion by Commissioner Thomas, second by Commissioner Andrews. All in favor of adjournment say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, we are adjourned. Have a great holiday, everyone.